Scorpio, what's going on, y'all? So I'm gonna pull some cards and get a message out for y'all. Um, I definitely do hope the messages resonate for you, Scorpio. And I definitely hope that the messages are overall useful for y'all, okay? And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into the reading, okay? So can I get messages for Scorpio? You got the Seven of Pentacles coming out first for y'all, Scorpio. Is the weather like bad where y'all are? Because it is terrible right now. You got the Ten of Wands <laughs> coming out for y'all as well. You got the Eight of Swords. Messages for Scorpio. And then you also do have the Judgment card coming out, Scorpio. You have the Five of Swords coming out as well. You got the Seven of Cups. You got the Knight of Pentacles, and then you also do have the Hangman, Scorpio, okay? So you got Pisces energy out here right now. And you got the Nine of Cups at the bottom. Scorpio, you could be stuck on some sort of like decision that you need to make and what you need to do to kind of like make a decision easier for you to make as well. Mm, hopefully that makes sense. What's this five of swords? Yeah, with the 10 of cups. Can I get one more? What's the five of swords and the 10 of cups? You got the three of wands. What's the seven of cups? Messages for Scorpio. We got the Knight of Wands as well. What's this Knight of Pentacles? We got the Page of Pentacles. What's this Hangman? You got the Four of Swords. What's the Judgment? What's the Judgment? Whoa. Yeah, you got the Strength and the Ace of Pentacles. What's this Eight of Swords with the Chariot? I don't know if you're going to have to make some sort of decision that might hurt someone else's feelings. Yeah, with the Magician, with the Ten of Wands as well. What's this Seven of Pentacles? You got the Eight of Pentacles. Because you're working on something or something that you're doing or working on is going to need you to pay more attention kind of like to it or put more time, more effort into it. But it's going to take away from someone, um, it feels like, with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands. And it's almost like whoever your energy is going to be taken away from this person is going to kind of take it personally. Because it feels like you care about whatever this is or whoever this person is that you're going to have to like learn how to split your energy or your time with, because there's some sort of opportunity. It's something here with the strength and the Ace of Pentacles that is needing more of your focus, but you're going to have to learn how to balance both of those things or if it's more than two things as well what's the seven of cups what is this confusion about what is what is going on you got the temperance in the moon you got cancer energy out here happy pisces sagittarius as well yeah with the two of cups what's this ten of wands with the magician With the three of swords like i don't know why but someone is going to take you almost like taking life more seriously like to heart like there's no more play with you um and even if it is you get what i'm saying you got to work hard to play even harder type of like thing you can't play around or go out and you broke you get i'm just saying <laughs> or you're not going to be able to do the things that you want and do the things that you know you, your family wants to do or like your friends wants to do you want to kind of like enjoy your time um but you can't do it if you don't have the like the if you just don't have the proper thing set up for you so if you're not making the right amount of money you you know you want to as well that means you can't spend how you want you can't do the things that you kind of like want to because you got to implement more of that time more of that effort into establishing something for yourself mm, hopefully that's making like sense because it's almost like someone is going to be kind of like confused or like upset at you almost like you're going to kind of see it being like for no reason or you're going to feel like this person doesn't really understand you or like why you're moving a certain way or why you want to do something as well or like why you can't hang out like i don't and it has something to do with like your manifestations it feels like 
What's this Ten of Wands? Can I get one more for the Ten of Wands? It's literally with the Ace of Swords. And what's this Seven of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles? It's almost like you have someone in your corner or around you who doesn't work as hard as you, who doesn't understand that you're possibly going to want something more out of like life with the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, your energy is out here. Like you're dealing with someone who wants to be like a dictator, it feels like. Like, I, th I thought we were going out this weekend, or I thought you were doing this, or I thought you were coming to see me, or I thought this day and the third, but you're like, no, I might, I, I gotta work, or I might have to study, or you know, I got, I got other things to focus on other than like you, or like going out, or this connection, or whatever the case may be. What's this Queen of Cups and this King of Swords? You have the sun. Someone also sees you as a very intuitive person, a very enlightened person as well. What's this sun, though? You got heavy uh, Leo energy with the two of pentacles. Mm. Whoever you're dealing with, they seem very selfish. Like someone's really going to want you to split your time up or like really focus on them. Again, it's giving very, it's giving self, very selfish energy. What's this five of swords, ten of cups with this three of wands? With the high priestess. And then you also do have the Five of Cups. With the lovers at the bottom as well. This could even be a thing as well, right? I'm just throwing this out there. Only take what resonates. This is because Scorpio, if it hasn't happened yet, there could be a possibility that it is going to happen or it will occur. But you might end up meeting someone new that takes you away from like a close cousin, a close brother or sister, whomever you're really close to, a best friend as well. And it's almost like someone's really going to be agitated by this. Not necessarily seeing you happy, because I'm not really getting mad, but it's almost like, especially if this person lacks a partner or lacks the ability to kind of like travel whenever they want or go out whenever they want as well. Like someone, you're going to be able to do something that another person isn't going to be able to do. And again, they're going to take that personally. Mm, mm, mm. They're going to take it very, very personally. What's this Knight of uh, Pentacles with the Page of Wands? Mm -hmm. With the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. You could definitely be getting to know someone new or getting ready to know someone new with the world. You could possibly meet this person like online as well. Mm -hmm. And again, somebody, someone might even tell you like you and another person are moving like too fast. I wouldn't really listen to that person. Because someone is hoping that you slow down. Not, but that's the thing. I don't, because I'm not really getting bad energy with the Page of Swords. I mean, it's not good energy either. But it's, again, it's an energy to where it's like someone is going to want you to kind of slow down your progression. So that way they kind of can play like catch up. Like someone's going to miss an old version of you. An old version of you that wasn't necessarily as focused as you are like present day. Or that you're going to be present day. Whenever this kind of like occurs. Because someone sees you building. They see you building something. They see you putting your energy into building something. Something that's going to be very successful. Something that you're going to put more focus into rather than like going out or partying or being with them just in general. What's this Eight of Swords with this chariot? Messages for Scorpio. You have the Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Swords by yourself? With the Page of Cups and the Two of Swords. Hmm. Because I feel like, especially with this Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands at the, I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles at the bottom, you're going to get some sort of burst of like energy, some sort of burst of like creative energy, it feels like as well. And again, like someone's going to feel like, Like they're almost being left like behind, like you're moving forward kind of like without them or you're getting the spark kind of like without them. Like this is somebody who lacks something or they view like they lack something that you do have. And it's almost like with this two of swords and the page of cups, it's almost like someone wants y'all to stay or remain like kids forever. Or at least they want you to remain like childlike forever as well. Mm. What's this two of swords with this page of cups? 
Hopefully that's making sense for y'all. With the Nine of Pentacles coming out as well with the Justice. And what's this Justice with the Nine of Pentacles? You have the Knight of Swords. It's something you're going to be taking action on. Something you're going to be taking very seriously with the Tower. What's the strength in the Ace of Pentacles? With the Page of Pentacles. Damn. That like flew out my hand. With the Page of Pentacles. Because I didn't get the Death card, which talks about transformation. But that's kind of what it's like giving. Like, it's almost like you're transforming into some right in front of someone's eyes, but it's not even that. It's almost like a maturity. Like, almost like when you found something that you're really, really good at, or you found some sort of purpose, and you're really, like, really taking it on full force. And it's almost like someone around you hasn't found that for themselves yet. And it's almost like, not an envious type of, like, feeling, but that's that's kind of what it's given off. Because I don't, what other word kind of is it for? Like, this person isn't not happy for you, but at the same time, they're not because they feel like whatever this hobby or whatever this 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 new idea is, this new bench, business venture, whatever you're taking seriously, even if it's schooling with the Queen of Cups and the um, King of Swords, they see that you're taking it seriously. They've seen that you're not playing about it either. Like whatever that is that you that you want to do or the person that you want to be with. They see that you're taking that more seriously than them now or hanging out with them. And again, it's something about someone feeling like you're taking something seriously. Sorry to sound redundant. Like it really is. Like it's crazy. What's this two of pentacles? With the death. Like someone literally sees you transforming, it feels like. Like you're growing, you're maturing as well. Like you're really taking life seriously, especially what you want out of it, basically. Like what do what does Scorpio want out of life? Okay, I want X, Y, Z, and I'm going, this is how I have to execute this plan to obtain X, Y, Z. Someone else isn't focused on that. And they're kind of like envious, it feels like, and not even necessarily envious, but they're watching with a very, they're watching with a watchful eye <laughs> on how you're, you're planning on doing or, or obtaining whatever this is that you want. The success, okay, this lover as well. With the four of cups. What's this death? What's the two of pentacles with the death? Whoa. You got the nine of cups, the will of fortune, and the nine of wands, yeah. Like this is somebody who's really taken aback that you have like some some sort of real life interest in something. Hopefully that's making sense because this person is not. What's this nine of wands? Like this is childish, it feels like. With the five of pentacles, like someone feels like you're leaving them behind. With the knight of cups. Especially if like if someone is like inviting you out somewhere and you kind of like decline it, like they're taking that really to heart behind closed doors. Or like you're keeping conversations really short with them as well. Like someone's used to you kind of like hitting them up going out with them wanting to be around them as well and it's almost like you have other things to focus on like if you live alone like listen i gotta keep the roof over my head i gotta work i gotta do xyz or hey i got a new partner now i gotta really focus on my relationship i just had a baby like it's something to where someone is there they used to look at you through a very childlike lens and they see that they cannot do that anymore is what it's feeling like like somebody has to take, and it's almost given like someone has to start taking you seriously. Like they have to really start treating you and seeing you like an elder or someone who's able to kind of like provide for themselves or do what they have to do to kind of provide some sort of lifestyle for them because nobody else is providing it for them. Hopefully we, we, we understand. What's this Ace of Swords? Messages for Scorpio. With the star and the ten of swords, the everything is fine card. Like, I don't know. This is a very dramatic person, it feels like as well. Because it's almost like they feel like, oh my goodness, my time is with, with them is up. With the star and the ten of swords. What's the star and the ten of swords? With the four of pentacles. This is definitely someone who wants to hold on to you. Or they're not telling you exactly how they feel. With the emperor... What's this magician card?
You have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Like, mmm. You had the Devil show his face with the Two of Cups. With the Four of Wands as well and the Eight of Cups. Oh, mm -hmm, Scorpio. With the Lovers as well. Like, someone feels like you're about to meet someone new. Like, I, I cannot get around this and I, I just can't. I don't know if you're getting ready to meet someone new or you already have, but there's someone close to you who's really going to feel left out. Like someone wants you to walk away from some sort of relationship or a new or a new kind of like union you're about to like step into or some sort of new beginning with the Ace of Wands, some sort of fresh start as well. Because you could be even stepping into like a life's purpose. Like something is about to have a lot of your time and like attention. And it's going to be taking that time and attention that you used to put on like a certain friend, a certain family member. It could even be a certain lover. But that's about to be swayed and be put like your energy and time is about to be put in a whole different direction. Because it has to be. And kind of like don't hesitate to kind of move forward no matter if you and someone grow apart from each other like something mm, is going to work out in your favor especially if it is a new relationship a new a new business venture a new idea as well there is a need to put focus more focus into that and not really be swayed about another's like opinion or how they kind of like feel because i feel like without you even realizing you're going to push someone else into their purpose because they're not going to have anything else to focus on because someone's really focused on you right now like really focused on you like seeing you elevate little do you realize like you're like a catalyst for someone else's elevation or wanting to elevate themselves this friend this it definitely is given like a close friend but it could be a family member you're really close to as well could even be a lover with all the cars spilling out <laughs> we love that don't we <laughs> Hold on, y'all. But you had the four cups coming out along with the devil. Like someone's focused on all the wrong things, all the wrong things. Because there could even be a thing where you took a break from like going out or focusing on things that like are a bit like lower vibrational or th things that just aren't important, especially not for your growth, especially not for your future. This is talking a lot about like your fu your future goals, Scorpio, which you got coming towards you as well. You got Capricorn energy out here as well, Aquarius with the Six of Wands. Like you have someone who is going to start to come off almost like karmic. But I feel like they're, they're not doing it on purpose. Like you're going to start to get annoyed by someone or not even necessarily annoyed. You're just going to get very, very confused as to why someone is like, quote unquote, like strange in a way. What's this four cups with this devil? Why do y'all keep falling today? <laughs> with the queen of wands? Can I get one more? What's this four cups with this devil? Someone really wants your attention, I'm telling you. With the Emperor and the King of Cups, this could even be, again, a lover who wants you to be codependent on them as well. <laughs> like someone thrives off of your like attention and the fact that you're not giving it to them or there's starting to begin, starting to be a lack thereof, it's bothering someone. It's almost like triggering someone as well. Almost like an abandonment issue. Like someone has some sort of abandonment issue, a mommy, daddy like problem as well. Like someone has something triggering them with you like distancing yourself or like not being able to like talk to them all the time or provide some sort of like loving. <laughs> What's this Queen of Wands with the Emperor? Heavy um, Aries energy as well with the Queen of Swords. Hmm. With the seven of wands as well. And there's a card stuck to this. You got the six of cups. What's the six of, um, six of cups with the seven of wands? We have the empress. 
These can even be like people, yeah, like friends, like just friends in general, seeing you elevate, no matter if you are a man or a woman, literally with the seven of swords, Scorpio, watch yourself, watch your back. <laughs> Because you definitely have people paying attention to you want to grow, like just in life. And again, I don't feel like you're paying attention, but I feel like you're going to be a catalyst for a lot of different people in your life to want to grow and elevate. Because I feel like some sort of opportunity is going to like really catch you and you're really going to ride some sort of like wave of like fortune. It feels like like you're going to be on the up and up very, very soon if you're not already. And at first, I feel like it's going to be a little rocky because I feel like if you don't completely fall off with people, there's going to be a distancing from like certain individuals who are not kind of like taking life seriously. Like they're, they're not necessarily going into the purpose. They're not trying to figure out what they're good at. Um, they're kind of just living life day by day, going into jobs that they don't necessarily care about. It just makes them money, maybe not even like enough money. Like they got to work 10 times harder to provide for a house or for a family. Whereas though you're stepping into something that you actually enjoy doing and is going to pay off. Like you're stepping almost like into a life purpose, it feels like. Like you have like goals and people are kind of like, I don't, mm, 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 mm. I don't understand this with the fool. Like, I'm not saying you're childish, but I definitely feel like you have some immature characters around you. Like you think very differently from those around you, surrounding you, Scorpio, okay? Last few cards, what's this Empress and the Fool? And again, if you meet someone new, try not, and things are going well for you. You get what I'm saying? Those, there's no red flags for you. Things are going good between you and a new love interest or love interest just in general. Do not listen to outside chatter because I do. I definitely do feel like people are going to try to give some form of like a pin. Mm. Like they're going to try to sway you away from someone because they feel like they're, they're losing their friend or their family member. Mm, Scorpio, I don't know who you're dealing with, but I ain't feeling them. I ain't feeling these people, these friends. What's this Empress with the Fool? Last few cards. Literally with the Lover, Scorpio, with the Nine of Swords. Because I don't know if you've been single for a while, but I definitely feel like if it's not like an opportunity just like in business or purpose-wise, you have an opportunity and love coming towards you. You haven't already received it to where you're about to actually meet someone who's going to take you very seriously. People aren't going to be used to this because I feel like you're going to be starting putting more time into like that person or getting that business venture, that hobby. And again, people are not going to be used to seeing you, especially not with a, a person. I don't know, something regarding like love could be with a Gemini as well and Aries, okay? Yeah, mm, mm, Scorpio, I don't like, mm, 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 mm. Good message for you, but be mindful with those you have around you and those you're telling your business to, okay? Because again, I feel like some people are going to try to give you some advice that isn't so sweet. Like, you're going to peep it too. You're going to really peep it too, especially if things are going good and you tell people, you know, if people are a certain person something and it's almost like they're going to try to, Oh, that's good. Well, let's see how long that lasts. Like they're going to say something to you to where you're going to side eye this person or this group of people. And that's who this reading was about. <laughs> but Scorpio, that was your reading. Yeah, this got me all. Because if I was your friend in real life, I'd be on the phone like, what they say? So, <laughs> but all right, Scorpio, enough. Enough with that. Um. I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all. And I definitely do hope the messages were overall useful for you, Scorpio. And yes, y'all, with that being said, I will see y'all next time. Bye.